Good morning, everyone, dignitaries on the dais. It gives me great pleasure to talk to you about Anveshana. Anveshana is one of the two major projects Prayoga Institute of Education Institution has conceived. The platform Kriya is for all the children studying science and use experiential learning of science as the way for learning science. Anveshana is a program where some of the bright minds identified in this science learning exercise to take research as a pedagogy to learn science. So in other words, Anveshana is a program aimed at creating scientific curiosity and addressing the issues through a scientific mind, inculcating all the components and elements required to do research at the formative years. Uh, the students belonging to classes 9 to 12 are the ones who, who will be introduced to this way of learning. And the aim of Prayoga is to create a platform which will address the requirements of identifying and nurturing these scientific minds, capturing them at the very young age. In the Anveshana program, based on the experience and the expertise that resides with the research team of Prayoga, we have identified five themes. The first one is green chemistry and catalysis. The next one is ecology and environmental sciences. And the third one is food and agriculture, wellness, where almost all the branches of biological and life sciences are taken into account. And the fifth one is the advanced materials and functional materials, advanced and functional materials, where we have. So green chemistry and catalysis addresses all aspects of removing hazardous chemicals in a chemical process and use as much as possible the renewable raw materials in place of the hazardous chemicals. And we talk about the neutral, carbon neutral, uh, concepts of carbon neutral and identifying all the 12 processes of green chemistry and catalysis uh, to be incorporated and then have that as a theme where we change the existing way in which the chemical industry or the chemical reactions are performed by using alternate chemistries that we can have still able to get to the same end result of the functional materials that we desire to have as products. Process intensification, use of renewable raw materials, they are all encompassed into this particular area of study that we do. In the advanced and functional materials, we use almost all technologies that lead to them, but more precisely on the nanomaterials, the size, shape, and uh, the morphology, uh, the selectivity, all those aspects of nanomaterial synthesis and their application in varied technical fields. Use of uh, you know bio composites along with nano composites for enabling technologies like sensors, biomedical devices, various aspects of that will be covered in that area. The wellness using natural materials uh, as food, nutraceuticals, uh, areas where we have uh, you know naturally renewable materials, biologically active compounds acting as drugs. Uh, and finding a scientific validation for those things uh, through extensive analysis, scientific analysis will be the aim of wellness. In the eco and environmental senses, we cover all aspects of air, food, uh, water, environment in general. And in the uh, agri and food, we address many aspects of food, crop, uh, protection, increasing the yields and all the technologies that lead to healthier food uh, and then uh, protein rich food. These are the aspects we cover in all these themes. In the areas where do, we do not have expertise, we engage with external partners 
and we have already have a big group of research mentors these are the people who along with the researchers present in prayoga will be able to identify and create projects in which the students identified through a proper mechanism in the anveshana program will get enrolled and work in these projects uh, the people who are associated with us are dr p r krishna swami in the biomedical and uh, biology area uh, he is uh, 93 year young uh, champion we call him he will have uh, a few words to say to you people uh, uh, after this next is uh, dr nagendran uh, a botanist and a retired professor from mysore university uh, he is an authority in uh, uh, identifying the plant species the way it is grown and what are the requirements for creating a wealth of these natural products uh, which will be one of the feedstock or the starting material for our work and scientific validation so he his association will be greatly required for an organization like ours next we have professor hegde sn hegde uh, professor sn hegde is a very accomplished person he has written 36 books uh, in various aspects of he is a professor of zoology a retired professor from the mysore university a person who uh, after a, a a particular a species is named after so uh, he is a greatly accomplished uh, researcher your guidance is much needed for the younger generation we would be honored to have you uh, in the panel of uh, experts next we have uh, professor murli shastri uh, no combination of alphabets will be able to describe him a person with uh, more than 86000 he is in monash uh, currently he is in new york but he is a person with the great accomplishment a scientist with a h index of 86 i think most of you will understand uh, it's not a small thing he is he has got a h index of uh, 84 graduated 36 phd's has about 50 patents a person who was the inventor of tata swatch water purifier low uh, cost water purifier professor shastri has uh, uh, you know gratefully acknowledged and accepted our invitation to be one of the um, research mentors Uh, we will be really happy to have him as a material scientist and a physicist who will be helping us the next one in uh, uh, line uh, is uh, dr sandeep prabhu kumble uh, he is uh, a person who is the head of the veterinary sciences and biomedical sciences at the penn state university uh, he just inaugurated the new building for penn state yesterday um, as head of the department he has been an accomplished researcher graduated about 12 phd's uh, has about 20 pa or post doctoral researchers has about more than 100 publications to his credit he is known for his work on selenium proteins and their role uh, the omega 3 fatty acids uh, eicosanoids uh, and many other research publications in that area uh, he has gladly accepted to be a research mentor for us we welcome him and uh, we are honored to have him as a uh, person working in the biomedical and wellness uh, team the next uh, uh, dr mohanti a mohanti uh, he, he is a, a professor in the aerospace department of indian institute of science uh, he has gladly accepted uh, he is an accomplished uh, person uh, and he will be happy to be associated with projects we are yet to have the projects from all these researchers but we are pretty sure to have them in the near future and we will have some students working under them uh, dr vikram vishal he is here and with us a young uh, a star uh, in the uh, he is already a star now by any standards uh, a person who was one of the first students of the iit bombay monash research academy uh, completed his phd in 3 years which is still a record in that uh, domain he has a dual badge degree which is at iit bombay as well as monash stamping their seal on the same page which is a very rare uh, degree to have uh, he worked one year in uh, monash during his doctoral and uh, he has won all the young scientist award that is available in that domain a person who has already well established in the uh, carbon sequestration uh, methane hydrates and all aspects of mining 
we are extremely honored to have you and we will be really uh, happy to work with you and have more students under your guidance to work on various projects. Uh, Dr. Subramanian, uh, his uh, administrators, there he is. Uh, he has kindly accepted to be part of the uh, uh, program. We welcome you. Thank you very much for accepting our request. We will be really delighted to have your inputs and then our younger generation will greatly benefit from the uh, kind of scientific temperament that you can create and increase the curiosity levels of these young minds. Uh, we do have few more people from Indian Institute of Science, the Instrumentation and Applied Physics Division, uh, Dr. Jayant, uh, Dr. Baladitya, uh, if you are here in the audience, please. Uh, these are the people who have accepted our invitation and we will be really honored to have them and then have their guidance for the younger minds to help us navigate and to get to the level of uh, the quality research that happens at Proyoga. Uh, I, and we do have our own staff members, uh, that's me, uh, with uh, a lot of, uh, you know, combined academic as well as industrial uh, experience that I have and having contributed to few technologies that were developed and commercialized few products and having about 15 patents, I think I am capable of creating that kind of a uh, in, in insight in the younger minds to take research as a serious uh, and uh, we have Pratik Cherian uh, who is in the physics department heading the physics uh, stream. Uh, we have uh, Venkata Krishna, the uh, head of biological sciences capable of handling multiple projects at a time. Dr. Shubhadeep uh, Senapati, a person with uh, a chemistry background and having trained uh, in the USA in, during his po uh, postdoctoral for using atomic microscope, uh, atomic uh, force microscopy for protein detection. And uh, we have Dr. Meghna, uh, a physicist, theoretical physicist, uh, able to perform uh, computational work and then able to guide the students in that domain. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Anamika, uh, a, a protein synthesis chemist, a unique combination of uh, having an academic world and uh, having industrially relevant work where she has commercialized few products and they have been taken by uh, internationally renowned uh, uh, protein uh, suppliers. Uh, Dr. Om Prakash, a, a physicist uh, working in the area of thin films. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Uh, Kritika, a, a, a person who has worked in uh, NIMHANS for her uh, research and uh, in the neurosciences uh, uh, division, uh, Dr. Lakshmi in the mathematics uh, division. Uh, and all these people will be uh, working on various aspects of their experience and expertise to guide the students. Uh, only our efforts uh, creating uh, um, you know, manpower and the infrastructure to do all these type of research may not be sufficient. We have been associated with a few academic institutions of repute uh, in the vicinity. Uh, we are very happy to have uh, uh, the Vice Chancellor of the Dhanan Sagar University, uh, Professor ba K. N. Balasubramanya uh, Murthy. Uh, we have association, we have a uh, memorandum of understanding associated with them. We have uh, uh, association with CIIRC. Uh, an institute which is under the Sharda Vidya Peetam Sungeri. Uh, they have infrastructures of uh, really good quality which can take our researchers to handle those instruments, understand how these instruments work and then get quality data to support their research work. We are ably supported by a very capable advisory team, three of whom, three of the six members are people who are excel in their academic research. Professor T. N. Guru Rao, Professor Dr. Omkar, Dr. Nagasuma Chandra, they are all professors at the Innov uh, in Indian Institute of Science, but the team is spearheaded by Justice M. N. Venkatachalaya. He is the chairman of our research advisory board. They are the people who set the direction for Prayoga and we are really very happy to have their presence here. Dr. Balakrishna, uh, Mr. Balakrishna Adiga, who is among uh, the audience here, and uh, Mr. M.P. Kumar, these are the people who have the industrial and the corporate experience 
a good mix of an academia and an industrial operation is very, very critical to an organization like Prayoga. Prayoga wants to be involved in translational research. We are happy to work on basic research, which tests the boundaries of science, but we will be extremely happy if we can create products and processes which can be implemented tomorrow. Uh, the lab to land transition, or the, in biological terms, it is called the bench to the bed transition. If we can create these kind of research outputs, we'll be satisfying our requirements. And we will, by this, we would have also touched many younger minds to take research as a passionate work forward for them. Thank you very much for allowing me to uh, talk about uh, the Anveshana and the research uh, components that are associated with it. I, I now uh, ask, request Nagashree to take the program forward.